That is crazy. Wait, what? Huh? How we put our opponent on 62 life points? All right, guys, we have not gotten a game with this, but now you guys are going to see how powerful is Snake Eyes. I'm sorry, Unchained. What, what am I thinking, guys? Unchained is a new deck out of the latest set, and we get to see both hands. I love it. This must be a tournament. Unchained is built on being able to destroy the cards. If you guys have not seen the video of me explaining Unchained in detail, go ahead and check it out. But this time around, we have a... And our opponent has no hand traps, so let's see how this works out. That Prosperity is going to go crazy right here. It's going to banish six cards from our extra deck, revealing Didi Orthros. Interesting. Maxi, Shavara, Dark Contract, Ash Blossom, evenly matched. We're going to add the Shavara to our hand, and we have to get a scuffed combo. Shavara destroys Reika to summon this elf, and now Reika can summon a Shayama to our field. We'll use both Shavara and Reika for a Link Summon into Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. Using its effect alongside of Shavara, we'll be able to set a spell and add a monster to our hand. We'll set Escape from the Unchained. We'll add Unchained Arua to our hand. Then we'll use Arua to destroy Escape. Escape to be able to summon Sharama. Sharama sets the Escape to destroy the Arua. Arua activates its effect, summons out Unchained Soul of Disaster. Not a lot of people play that card, but it's crazy good. We'll then use the effect of Shyama to summon out, then trigger Sarama to summon out another Shavara, and then we exceed summon into DDD Wave King Singular. This is actually full combo for the deck. That's how the deck works. We have Untamed Solar Rage, which can link off our opponent's special summon monster. DDD Wave High King Caesar to be able to negate a special summon. Escape of the Unchained can not only destroy our Unchained Soul of Rage and another monster, we can also trigger the effect of Yama to bring back the Unchained Soul of Rage back. Now there's different ways, different scenarios, and different combos that could be used to be able to make a different variation of it, but at the very basis, you're going to see some type of combination of this on the field. Let's go ahead and see what our opponent's going to do to respond. On the end phase, they'll use Wannabe to be able to look up a lot of cards. Solemn Judgment, Cold Body, Fair Flame, Trap trick. They'll get the solemn judgment. Holy crap, that's pretty good. Now we'll draw for turn into the frenzy. Summon the Theresia. Setting the intact. That's gonna ultra insulate. Lord of Heavenly Prison gets kicked with escape from the unchained to destroy the intact. But solemn judgment will pay half our life points to stop the escape. That's so interesting that we did that. It makes sense because Intact will insulate our play of Dinomorphia Frenzy, which we just so happen to draw three copies of. We'll set two and pass. All right. So you can only activate one Dinomorphia Frenzy once per turn. I think Swords Class may have Goofy Goober. He literally could have used all three Frenzies in one turn, which is crazy because this card, when a spell or trap or effect is activated that includes special summon a monster, you can detach and negate the activation. So this card says you can only activate one once per turn, but we activated and the activation was negated, which means we can activate another one. And if it gets negated, it means we can activate another one. That is actually the secret trick in case you guys did not know about cards that say you can only activate the effect versus cards that can only say you can use the effect. You can only use the effect and you can only use the effect. But let's go ahead and see what happens here. We'll draw a Dark Contract here. Not the best card in the world to open, but definitely not a bad card. We'll activate Contract with the Gate. DDD Wave King Caesar gets activated. Ironically, instead of intacting, we could have Frenzied again. I think, personally, I think in this situation, it would have made way more use of our cards. What do you guys think about that, that situation there? We'll destroy, and now we get the Fusion Summon. We'll summon out Kintragina. They'll get Wave King Caesar and Shavara's effect. That's actually cool. And they'll get Yama's effect. Another thing you don't want to do is destroy the Shavara. That also would have been a... That, that actually would have been a consequence of not destroying. And they'll go Heavenly Prison to summon too. They'll summon out Heavenly Prison in defense. Set a mass change too. So that's the time that they're on chat. 
They'll send the Diplos and then use both of those monsters for another fusion summon. They'll bring out Rexturm. And now Yamo will be able to summon. Ah, yes. Oh, they definitely goofed, chat. They 100% goofed. Imagine, chat. If they would have said all three frenzies, frenzy negate, frenzy negate, frenzy negate, you're like, who does that? Who has that? But more importantly, the DDD Wave King Caesar would have remained on the field. He wouldn't have been able to special summon the Unchained Soul of Disaster from the graveyard. And we still would have had a negate with Dinomorphia intact. I think that that is a major fumble, but not a lot of people do understand the difference between those two effects here. Yeah, and on the actual bad thing here is that now our Soul of Disaster gained attack. What made it gain attack? Whatever made it gain attack actually uncooked us here. That's kind of crazy. Uh. There's something that happened that made it strong. Disaster gains attack. Oh, gains stringent attack for every unchained card in your graveyard. We forgot about that effect. That card uncooked us. DD Orthros destroys the last frenzy. Triple Tactics Thrust gets us Triple Tactics Talent. Tactics Talent allows us to take control of a monster on the field. We take their Rexstrom. Then Disaster links off their monster now that we have Rexstrom on the field. We summon out McCraker. Shayama destroys our Soul of Rage, which is crazy good, chat. That triggers the effect of Soul of Rage to add Sir Shervara to our hand. And now Shervara destroys our Orthros to destroy our Mass Change 2. McCraker summons out Sarama by discarding the Beerus. This is how crazy this deck can be, guys. We'll set the escape, destroy the other escape, which triggers the escape to summon out a Unchained Soul. Discarding the Dark Contract, we get rid of their monster, and now we Link Summon. There's no purpose in doing all this other than Tamayas is a whole whore, guys. We'll summon out Anguish and then Link off their monster into our Lord and Savior Unchained Abomination. Battle Phase will go ahead and attack for game that is crazy wait what huh how we put our opponent on 62 life points what did i miss here intact oh Yes, Intact does have a hidden effect. Oh, I guess he wasn't BMing here, chat. When a monster effect is activated, also whatever damage you take becomes half your life points. Yes, okay. He's not BMing, chat. He got us. He's not BMing. He'll soul of he'll Shavara his unchained and then activate the effect to destroy one. That gets the cold by the grave. We summon out, then Abomination destroys his last card, and that is enough for Gabe. You got us there, Tobias. You got us there. I think that was a completely crazy game and show you the power of Unchained. Fortunately enough, we get to see a Tobias deck profile as well. Let's go ahead and jump on it. Okay, big dogs. So looking at the version of Unchained that Tobias is playing, there's three Maxi, three Ash, two Bell. Then there's three red, one blue, one Sarama. This is actually correct. Diddy Orthros is a nice little tech that he's playing. I think that this card is really, really interesting. It it, it, it helps a lot. And it also makes his uh, his Dark Contracts actually searchable. There's three Shavara, one Shyama, one Disaster. This card I think is optional. There's one Unchained Soul, one Vice Requeen, two Nibiru, three Abominations Prison, one Triple Tactics Talent, one Pot of Prosperity. The Thrust is really important because it does allow you to set your Unchained cards to be able to continue on. There's three Evenly Matched, three Dark Contract, three Impermanence, three Escape of the, or two Escape of the Unchained, and two Abominable Unchained. For the extra deck, there is a DDD Wave King Caesar, a Device King Deuce Machin X, and a Zeus. This is 100% standard. Two Yama, two Rage, one IP, two McCraker, one Azalea, one Angu or two Anguish. You only need one, but two is okay, good. One Abomination, one Sussy Co Talker. This was a crazy good game. Really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and let us know. What do you think about Unchained? Can't wait to show you some more replays.